This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are going to take a look at an absolute busted build in the V Rising Gloomrot update. Let's get to it. So the other day I put out a video talking about some really insane spell combos. And in that video, I mentioned that Power Surge and Blood Rage were really good combined together because you could buff yourself and just go into absolute berserker mode. In that video, I suggested using the slashers and I said that the the only dash that you should ever be using is the Veil of Illusion. While I still stick by that because Veil of Illusion is absolutely insane, giving you tons of cooldown and the ability to recast spells for free, a lot of you suggested that instead of using Veil of Illusion, that you should instead use the Veil of Storm, and instead of using the Slashers, you should use the Great Sword. And I thought, you know what? Let's check this out. Let's see how strong it is. And it is absolutely insane. So my original build felt great. This feels OP and slightly broken. Now there's two different blood types you can use with this setup. I prefer the Scholar Blood because it allows you to spam the two buffs a heck of a lot more. However, Brute Blood is an absolute solid option as well, giving you a lot more sustain and a little bit of an additional speed buff that you can proc from healing. The Jewels for Veil of Storm, I highly advise trying to get one that increases the elude duration as well as increasing the damage of your next primary attack. Other than that, you're probably going to end up with the next primary attack inflicts a fading snare because there's not a whole lot of different options you can get on your Veil of Storm's jewels. For the power surge, you definitely want the shield to target for whatever percentage of your spell power. This allows you to heal while you're shielded, making you really really tanky. Increased duration is another really good one and then from there every part of this jewel is absolutely fantastic because it rolls all good stuff. So you can get increased attack speed to increase your attack speed even more. Uh, one of the ones I really like is the lethal attacks during the effect reduce the cooldown by one second and it that stacks for anywhere from one to four times. So any combination of shielding you, increased attack speed, increased duration, Duration or lethal attacks reducing the cooldown are all absolute fantastic things to look for on the jewel for this ability. On Blood Rage, I highly advise trying to get the killing an enemy during the effect heals you for a percentage of your maximum health. That can be anywhere from 1.2 to 2.5% of your maximum health. And then of course the increased duration is super handy and shielding yourself as well. If you can get those three on that jewel, you are absolutely set and good to go. And as you can see from the footage that I've been playing, it's an insane build. You can just run into a group of enemies without any threat of dying because you cleave through them like crazy and will thin them out really fast with this massive sword attacking at max speeds and you have a ton of sustain that just allows you to take an absolute insane amount of damage. Overall, I'm really pleased with this setup. I think it's really good. Thank you to everyone who made this suggestion. It really improved the feel of the build a lot. It makes you feel a lot more stronger than my original suggestion. I still stand by what I said about the Veil of Illusion being insanely strong and the only thing you should ever go for, but stacking all of that attack speed on the Greatsword is just absolutely busted. Even attacking bosses, because you have so much speed with this build, you can just stay behind a boss or be in any position that you need to be in because you're so fast all the time that needing any type of special repositioning skills doesn't really matter because you can just run to where you need to be like freaking Grease Lightning. So that's it. Just a quick, short, sweet video. I just wanted to point these changes out to you all just in case some of you don't read the comments so that you can make these tweaks to the build if you're running it and see if you like them or not. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful or informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And if you're looking for some more V Rising content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.